Welcome. In this video, we are going to uh, talk about accessibility. So there is a property of the page uh, object, which is called show semantics debugger. And when we set it to true, it shows an overlay that shows the accessibility information reported by the framework. And uh, that's what we are going to demonstrate. So we would like to import flat from flat we import floating action button keyboard event data the page the text and the icons and then what we would like to do is to use the main function with the page and create the page title acc demo page vertical alignment is equal to center and the page dot horizontal alignment is equal to center and def on key board e keyboard event data what we would like to do is to print e and if the e dot key is equal to s and e dot ctrl then page dot show salmon ticks debugger equals not page show semantics debugger and page that update and uh, flat keyboard even data uh, so what we would also do is to use the page that on keyboard event is equal to on keyboard and we will have the button click function and we say that txt number that value is equal to int txt number that value plus one page update and we will create a txt number which is going to be a text field with the zero and the size of 40 and we will use the page that add txt number text press ctrl plus s to toggle and the floating action button where the icon is equal to icons add and tool tip is equal to increment and the on click is equal to on button click <coughs> then we can run our main target and view flat web browser all right <clears throat> so if everything goes well we should be able to use the accessibility hmm. it says that it cannot import even data from flat
let's try to search this one. And what do we have here? Maybe that's the keyboard event. And let's try to run it. Alright, so it should work. So now we have the control S to toggle. And there we go. We can also increment it and toggle it. So technically this is how you can use this feature of flat. See you in the next one.